So in 2019, um, the, the Amazon fires started popping off and we had just gone to, to film uh, like a month earlier, we'd filmed like a small documentary and uh, they'd been following me as if I was on a, as if I was on a solo, which, you know, we did the best we could. I, I, le I lived on my own. But we, uh, as we were driving, we passed a spot where the flames were 70 feet tall. The forest was being destroyed. And I went out there with my phone, which overheated in like two minutes and said, you can't use it. But I, for a second, I was out there in the flames, picking up animals and throwing them off to try and just get them cooled off. I was trying to get snakes out of there. Everything was, the birds are flying. And I fucking lost it. I, I was red eyed, I was crying and I was going, this is happening every fucking day. I was screaming and it's the first time that I'd done that because I've seen the burning so many times and I just lost it that day. And I don't know what made me pull out my phone because usually in those intense moments, I, I say, forget the documentation, this is real life. We got stuff to do and I'm doing, I'm not documenting. And then a month later I'm home and I'm in New York and all of a sudden I see these articles like, you know, the Amazon's burning worse this year than it was last year and blah, blah, blah. And I was like this, you know, fucking, and I threw it up on Instagram like eight o'clock at night. And I'd never, like, I'd never cursed on Instagram. I don't know, you know, why I just never did. And I, my phone was on a hundred percent and I put it on top of the refrigerator and I went to bed and I woke up in the morning and my phone was on the floor on 2% and it was ringing off the hook. And it was like the news. And they're like, are you the guy that posted that viral video about the Amazon? And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And that was the start. That's where it broke. And that's where we went from barefoot in the Amazon to, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I was a talking head for three weeks and going around on all these news stations. And all of a sudden I was like the spokesperson for the Amazon and JJ's calling me and he was like, go, 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 go. Like, get us, get us that support. And it was just, um, you know, so so communicating with people and bringing them into that reality, and whether it's you know rhino poaching and elephant poaching or the Amazon being destroyed, it's like to me, it's like being able to 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 take people into that is is something that I would love to do. Yeah, and you do it directly with authenticity on your Instagram. People should definitely follow your Instagram. I think I think Rogan follows your Instagram too. Well, the end of that story actually kind of involves him because yeah, because because I went to all these news outlets and i was living in green rooms and traveling around and i was all strung out and i hadn't seen anybody i actually know in a few weeks which was starting to get to me and i finally got home and i went to like a family party and everyone's like dude you've been it's been crazy and i was like yep and then i left and my cousin michael calls me and he's screaming and i'm going what 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 and he goes joe rogan just shared it joe rogan just shared it and we, oh nice and everyone was losing their shit and it was so nice. amazing and it was like yeah that's when it really took off yeah. and what happened as a result of all of this is that uh, a Canadian entrepreneur who started Lightspeed um, reached out and uh, several months later after COVID, after that boom, mm -hmm. you know, I'd been in the game for maybe 13 years or something, had no money, no savings, no job, no nothing. And after that great publicity thing, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. The waves came and everything got real exciting. Everybody reached out and they said, we care so much. Nothing happened though. You know, we can run into battle, but if we don't have our arrows in the quiver, what can we do? And I actually, I made a phone call to my friend Mosin right at the start of COVID and I was going through a divorce and I was broke. And I said, I'm gonna get a job. I said, I give up. So this is stupid. I said, the ecotourism business is done. Jungle Keepers is dried up. Mm. We're done. And then this guy, Dax De Silva called me on the phone and said, listen, I'm in, what, what do we gotta do? And so if, if the analogy was me and JJ and a few other people trying to hold this boulder back from just destroying the rainforest, all of a sudden Dax comes in like a Titan and just puts his arm out and just goes, I'm going to help. And he gave us the funding to start actually developing a ranger program, to start actually bringing loggers to be protectors of the forest, to be supporting smaller conservation things. And now we're protecting 50,000 acres of rainforest. We're protecting entire streams and ecosystems that I love, and we're soon gonna double that. And it's like this this whole thing. So um, yeah, the, 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 the communication of these things is crucial. And I actually think it's in incredible that, that social media has played such a big role in it. Well, I mean, uh, just because I, I know Joe well <laughs> and I love him so much, I, I definitely think um, you should do his podcast, but also just be friends with him. I think you guys, oh. um, he's one, you know, not the meme, but he's one with nature yeah. and not much more with the, I'm one 
while I do appreciate and love nature, yeah. I also love um, technology oh, I know, yeah. and robots and so on. So yeah. we're <laughs> in, the, yeah. in that me meme type of way, we're very, very different. But Well, he, either way, at some point, make sure you tell the guy thank you because it definitely really helped push us over that that limit where, you know, if enough people see it, you get someone like Dax who 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 says, I can help and I have the resources to help. And that, that changed our whole lives. Changed everything.